of our support. My dear brothers and sisters, we are here tonight to make awareness about the deprived, about the people of deprived area in Pakistan. To be honest, two years before Care and Relief Foundation started the work in the area of the Despite the fact I, I lived in Pakistan for almost 18 years, I never realized that there is an area of the which is existed in Pakistan. I never realized it. And I don't know why, because it has never been highlighted there. Or it might be due to the fact that nobody put the attention and due to which the people of Thur are suffering badly as we could see at which you could see in the window. That for almost last sixty seven years, sixty, seventy, seventy years, the people of Thur suffer from drought after every three years. And that is really astonishing. That after every three years people need to sacrifice their children. They need to sacrifice their own lives. Because they won't be having a water to drink. They won't be having a water to quench their thirst. They won't be having a food to beat their hunger. As I've seen myself, some of the people, they were not having even a softy, or a shoes to wear on scratching sand, in the scratching heat. But dear brothers and sisters, we need to realize it is getting too late. As there are some villages where non-Muslims live, the majority is of Muslims. And Shah said when he went in one of the villages there, nobody in that village knows as to how to recite Quran. Nobody. But the question arises, as a normal person would think, if they are Muslim, then why don't they learn or study Quran? But the question which comes forward to answer these questions are, are they having sufficient water to quench their thirst? Are they having sufficient food to beat their hunger? Are they having sufficient clothes or clean clothes? Are they having shoes to wear and to walk on sand in scratching heat? Children need to get up in the morning and they need to cover several miles just to fill in the water. As when we went there first in some of the villages, children would say, their duty is just to get up in the morning, to go several miles away from the Sardad nadad dast, dar dast e yadid Hakka ke bina e la e la astu husayn He was sallam When the Jew was the owner of the well Muslims need water Usmani Ghani radiyallahu ta'ala no stood on the command on the request of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He went forward to have a negotiation with a Jew to buy the well. Jew never allowed, but he sold all half of the well. When Muslims, when the Prophet وسلم, on the day of Muslims, when the Muslims day were to fill the water from that well, Prophet وسلم, made it open to everyone to take water, whether Muslim or non-Muslim. This is what Islam teaches. Islam doesn't teach to lock the wells because water is the Rahma by Almighty Allah. It is a blessing one to us. My dear brothers and sisters, if it is a blessing, we need to realize, we need to ask ourselves whether are the people of Thur being given this blessing or are, are they deprived of it? If they are deprived, what are the solutions? And Care and Relief Foundation is here to provide you with the solutions. Come, unite with us, stand with us, share a helping hand with us, donate generously. Come forward, we are going to dig well in them areas. We are going to be responsible to make sure that the wells are not in the hands of feudals. 
in the area of Chachro. I spoke to Shasa personally myself. And I said, what we have done in Chachro? He said, we are doing hospital in Chachro. Then my question to him was, what are we doing in terms of water? There, is, there are wells there in Chachro. But there is no sweet water. There is so water there in the complete area of Chachro. And then after he says to contact the team in Pakistan, ask them to have a survey. And I said, they all had a survey. Now they want our plant there. My dear brothers and sisters, what is our plant? Reverse osmosis plant which cost us 25,000 pounds in normal areas. What about the areas in third? A well, to dig a well in normal areas cost 1,000 pounds. But a normal well which is to be dug in the area of third cost 3,000 pounds. It is more than 100%, more than double of what it costs normally. If RO plant costed 25,000 pounds in normal areas, what if we have an RO plant in Chachro? My dear brothers and sisters, I'm telling you these things to make you realize unless you will stand, unless you will come forward, unless you will support, unless you will donate generously, we won't be able to help them poor people. To which we are promised, to which we have made intention to help them poor people out. We have a good examples as we went in one of the areas where Chasa went. We want to read Salah. In the area of Tawa, the people are not having sufficient water to drink, but they would buy a water to do ablution. And monthly it would cost them 7,000 rupees. But you people help them out with just 450 pounds. Now there is a hand pump right outside the mosque. They need not spend 7,000 pounds on buying the water. And you are going to be blessed for it, subhanAllah, because you donated. Now my dear brothers and sisters, in this winter, when these children are not having blankets, premature babies are not having milk, the mothers who are ill themselves, they are not having milk in their breast. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to provide them with the powder milk. We need to provide them with the vitamins. And this is what care and relief is doing. We are going into the hospitals. We are pointing children out. We are giving them your donations in form of blankets, in forms of milk, in form of all necessary requirements to make sure that it suffices for them to have sufficient vitamins in their bodies. It costs you just 50 pounds to sponsor one family. Just 50 pounds to sponsor one family. To me, it could be for whole winter. Do you think it is too expensive? If not, then come forward and donate generously. We are waiting for your kind and generous donations. On the other hand, my dear brothers and sisters, do realize the wells which we are digging is in the blessed name of Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala. We started in the name of Pandit and Pak. Do you realize the fact on the day of judgment when they will be in scratching heat our tongues will be out, we will be drowned on our own sweat my dear brothers and sisters at that time we will be requiring water and the Prophet and his family which includes Mulali 